All right, good evening. Good evening. If you could, if you could come on in. We have some seats available. Come on down. We're about to get this, well, we are getting this meeting started. Okay. It is after 5.30. We are calling this meeting to order. It is the special meeting of December 12th, 2018. Uh, and um, as a reminder, if you would like to speak before the council tonight, please complete a blue speaker's request form. They can be found in the back over there. This time we're going to be doing roll call. Mr. Aguilar. Councilmember Platt. Here. Councilmember Tesari. Here. Councilmember Rush. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Rigby. Here. Mayor Lomar. All right, this evening's invocation will be presented by Pastor Ed Moreno of New Day Christian Church. Excited Sorry. to be here. All right. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this uh, just truly exciting city. Father, I thank you for the leadership that you've raised up for us. I thank you for the re-election of our mayor. Uh, Father, I thank you and just praise you for all that Adam uh, Rush has done for this city for so many years, and I know that he's uh, stepping out of uh, this role, but uh, he's uh, such a vital part of this community, and I just pray, God, that uh, he'll know uh, just how uh, much a blessing he's been to this city. I thank you for our newly uh, confirmed city manager, just the amazing staff. And Father, I just uh, pray continued uh, growth and that your continued wisdom will be in our leaders as uh, they lead this uh, great city uh, through the end of a great year, 2018, and launching into an even greater year in 2019. I pray that they'll fill and we'll all fill your presence in this place as this meeting goes on. In his name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right, we have a pledge, our Pledge of Allegiance tonight. It's going to be led by Girl Scout Troop 82. I think they're in the back there. Come on down. Good evening. You can, perfect. You can see it in this microphone. Just a second. Just a second. Wow, look at Good that. evening. Please join us in the Christian flag. I mean, <laughs> pledge. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was great. Great job, girls. Okay, I want to make sure. No certificates. Okay. Um, at this time, we're at the public comments portion of our agenda. So, any members of the public wishing to make public comments may do so now, but you'll have to submit a public request form, a public comment form. Have we received any comments? Yes, we have received two public comment forms, the first one being from Kristen Rush. Okay, excellent. So, as a reminder, um, please address, the, this is to everybody speaking, please address your comments to the council as a whole and do not engage in dialogue with individual council members, city staff, or members of the audience. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor Laura Moore and city council members. I just want to take a few moments of your time this evening. Not many people know that Adam's nickname in high school was Mr. Hustle. It certainly did not refer to his speed on the field as he was a lineman of formidable size but to his drive, determination, and work ethic. This is something that has followed Adam throughout his education, career, and then political life. When I met Adam our senior year of high school, I knew he was a young man who had big goals and would certainly achieve them. I have always deeply admired this quality in my husband. He could never be accused of not putting in the work. In early 2007, shortly after we were married, Adam and I joined the East Film Corporation Committee. 
a small group of individuals who had committed to working toward the incorporation of a new and growing area we called home. Adam spent a lot of his work day at the Riverside County Planning Department, working with developers in planning and growing this area. One evening, Adam went to an incorporation committee meeting without me and came home to announce that he was now the membership and fundraising chair. Because, and I quote, someone needed to do it, so I raised my hand. For the next three years, much of our free time, evening and weekends, was dedicated to incorporation. At that time, we purchased our first home and welcomed our first daughter. When Adam told me he wanted to run for city council in 2010, which I knew was inevitable because Adam is passionate about all things politics. I was excited for this new endeavor. When incorporation passed and Adam won his first election, we were over the moon excited. He had only hoped to have the incorporation passed. To be elected was just icing on the cake. To watch a new city begin and grow has been nothing short of wonderful. I have watched my husband grow from a hopeful 29 year old first mayor of a new city to a strong and confident leader who is respected by many. After Adam announced he was resigning from city council, anytime we attended an event, people would tell me I needed to convince him to continue on. It is a wonderful thing to hear from other elected officials and community members that my husband is a great leader, someone who listens, responds, and gets results. Someone who doesn't shy away from hard issues and handles controversy with dignity and respect. As our family has grown, Adam has recognized the need to step away from political life. Our children need the time and energy only a father can give. If we measure time with our children in election cycles, our children will be grown and off on their own in four or five of them. The time with them is precious. Adam, you have shown our children how to be a public servant, sacrificially giving of your time and energy to make the world around us a better place. I know this is not lost on them or me. I read a quote recently by the late George H.W. Bush. Any definition of a successful life must include service to others. I am certain that you will continue to seek opportunities to give of your time, look for ways to serve others and support our community. Congratulations on a job well done. I'm so proud of you. Very well said. Thank, thank you for sharing those comments. Uh, Mr. Aguilar? Our next speaker is Lee Peterson. I don't know how I'm going to come behind that. <laughs> thank you, Adam. Um, my name is Leah Peterson. I'm a public affairs manager with Southern California Gas Company. And I'm here tonight to speak to you about a balanced energy approach that can work for everyone so that California can reach its climate action greenhouse gas regulations that are required by 2030. Recently, in the last year, the California legislature attempted to pass several bills to eliminate your choice of natural gas as one of your energy choices and require that all buildings, both industrial and residential, become all electric. Electrification sounds like a simple solution, but the challenges are big and much more complex than that. Southern California Gas Company has over 22 million customers. Natural gas is affordable, is your lowest utility bill, it is clean, burning fossil fuel. You use it to heat your water or hot water with, to cook with, to heat your homes, and 60% of all your electricity is generated using natural gas. Consumers want choice. The Restaurant Association um, supports natural gas as their preferred cooking source. If you were to upgrade your home to all electric, you would have to replace your natural gas stove, your furnace, your hot water heater, and upgrade your electrical panel that could cost upwards of $7,200 per home. Renewable natural gas will help us reach our goals, our climate goals that California is required to and mandated to do. Green waste, which is currently used to dump into landfills, is now being recycled and reclaimed and create and it is used to create renewable natural gas. Animal waste from cows, uh, and there's nothing more natural than the back end of a cow, what it produces. But animal waste is also being used to turn into um, nat renewable natural gas and is used currently being used to power trucks, buses throughout Riverside County. It is also being made available to our consumers. 
The point is, you shouldn't have to choose between doing what's right for the environment and what your family can afford. And with a balanced energy approach, you don't have to. If you would like to find out more information about renewable natural gas or about energy efficiency programs, you can go to SoCalGas.com and find out more information. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, it looks like we're at the end of our public comments, so that takes us on to item number four, and that is City Council Reorganization. Um, so starting with 4.1, that is a presentation to outgoing City Council member, Adam Rush. You got to pull the lever so the balloons drop, Brian. I, I know. <laughs> well, I was just going to say what ditto what Kristen said, uh, um, and then I won't have to repeat it because uh, um, I wrote an even more eloquent speech since. No, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding, Kristen. Uh, um, so um, we want to thank Adam. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with him for the last eight months, uh, and and um, he's been here for eight years. Um, served as uh, as Kristen shared. Uh, the first mayor from June 2010 to December uh, 2011 helped develop the first Eastvale city budget, um, uh, which is a very important part of a working government. Worked to procure the city's first motor officer. Uh, so for if you got a citation in our community, you can thank Adam uh, if he chose to speed. Uh, he presided over many major development projects such as uh, the Lidl uh, Master Plan, uh, Costco, Amazon, the ranch specific plan in the campus. So if you're eating at a good restaurant, he even back way back when before he was on this, he, he helped uh, approve this shopping center as I, as I learned earlier. Um, so he served on many regional boards from the Southern California Association of Governments, Riverside County Transportation Commission, Riverside Conservation Authority, Metro Link Board, Western Riverside Council of Governments, Air Quality Management District, and there's a whole bunch of acronyms there that I won't mention. Um, but he was instrumental in bringing the following major construction projects, the I-15 Limonite Avenue interchange, the I-15 corridor improvements, the Hamner widening and Hamner bridge, and, and most recently he helped us get additional funding to extend Limonite past Archibald. So his, his greatness here will be experienced long after he uh, leaves office when we can uh, drive across the Cucamonga Creek uh, Canal uh, in a couple of years. So um, we are going out to design for that here shortly because of the funding he helped get at Western Riverside Cog for that. Um, Adam served on the city council for eight years and has presided over a balanced budget each year and saw the removal of, and the ultimate return of the city's vehicle license fee from the state of California when when our uh, Sacramento state took our money away from us um, and uh, and then Adam and his wife Kristen um, uh, have lived in Eastville since 2009 and since he's been in office they, they are the proud uh, parents of three children um, so if you become a council member you might have kids as a result of, um, and so uh, uh, um, ages nine seven and four all raised here in Eastville so uh, um, thank you very much Adam um, and I have uh, about I have about a dozen uh, plaques down here that I need to pull out from underneath the table so um, the first one is from uh, Senator Richard Ross, office, Senator District 31, um, and, Adam, and this one's from, from Adam Rush. So I'll put it up here and we'll give it, we'll get it to you in just a second because I don't, there's another one here. Um, uh, with our deepest appreci appreciation, this one's from us at the city of Eastvale. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. Good things come in small packages. Um, we don't have the budget of the state of California yet, uh, um, but we have a balanced budget, <laughs> and we have a and we have a surplus uh, uh, um, and a reserve uh, um, and a safe city. Uh, um, so. So we also have the United States Congress House of Representative from Ken Calvert's office, the 42nd Congressional District right here. Um, so there's another one. That he's not going to have any wall space. So they're going to have to build an addition pretty soon. We, we have another one here um, from the Board of Supervisors um, uh, from the County of Riverside, um, uh, from Ke Kevin Jeffries, Chuck, Marion, John, and, and uh, Manuel Perez. So um, there's that one. 
We, we have a used fire extinguisher from Cal. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, that one's just down there in case of an emergency. Uh, um, but uh, you know, I, Adam, uh, you know, it's been a great honor, and, and I'm sure your fellow council members up there have a lot of great things to say. But on on behalf of everyone at the city hall, we appreciate everything that you do to help support us uh, in what we're doing, and and you know, with our big strategic planning effort that we did earlier this fall. Uh, we have a lot of great things set up for the next couple of years um, to achieve and, and some high lofty goals, um, which I have no doubt that will exceed Eastville's expectations every day because of the work you've put in. So I appreciate it and, and thank you very much. And, and so, um, you know, with your family out in the crowd and they show up to many meetings to watch their dad proudly up there. So um, thank you very much. And, and, you know, he was the one that challenged us to get into the city hall by September 12th. He bet against us, mind you, uh, um, but, but, but we got him in by September 12th so he could have a council meeting or actually about six council meetings before he termed out. And so he, he told me I'd really like to be in our new council chambers before I term out. And so I, I, promised them we would so um, and we did so um, but thank you very much Adam and, and to be honest I, I love when my family comes but I think they're here for the cookies <laughs> Mayor Lamar, uh, before we continue, we do have a public comment speaker, and that's from Harry Demon from the East Hall Chamber. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. H Harry Demon wanted to come up and present Excellent. something. Excellent. Harry, come on down. Even at Thank you, sir. Okay. Honorable Mayor, City Council, and City Staff, and fellow citizens, uh, Thank you for the time and Adam, I really want to, on behalf of the Eastwell Chamber of Commerce and I got most, probably most of the board members here as well, we want to thank you for your service to the local businesses. Uh, without your help, we wouldn't be here where we are today, bringing all this huge small business to big business in, into the city. And number 17, you are a major part of it and we made it twice because of your help and support. And I know that uh, city will continue to make that big direction that you're leaving behind us, but you're not going nowhere. I think we know where you live. <laughs> and we'll knock your door when we need you. And thank you for your support to the community and to the businesses as well. And we have on behalf of Eastville Chamber of Commerce, we got a little small plaque for you. I completely forget about the pizzas during the incorporation meetings, you know, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Do you guys want to get up and take a picture yeah, of them and you yeah. can hold half of his plaques? I, I think we want to say some things too, but we're going to take pictures first. <laughs> Before the mascara runs. <laughs> Okay, we're 
ready. Everybody look right here. One more time. And then right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna. Do you want to, okay, Brandon's gonna start off. Well, Adam, I, I want to thank you for your time and service, and I, I appreciate every, everything that you've done for for the city. You know, coming in as a as a new council member two years ago, you you, know, you you're on a long and, and you're still on a learning curve of, of of you know how to operate as a city council member. But I think Kristen said it best. I, I think on on some big issues that we faced, uh, Adam ad addressed. Uh, you know the residents and our developers and and certain situations that came up in the city with with dignity and respect and and I remember as a as a council member when you spoke I paid really great attention about how you delivered messages to certain you know to, in situations and you were very poised you were very uh, very professional and uh, for me it was a good learning experience for me coming in brand new. And just kind of seeing how how the veteran would operate, right? And and I always kind of stood closely to you. On and you wouldn't know that, but I I kind of stuck to how you spoke to everyone and how you dressed everyone with such respect. So for me, I'm grateful for that because it was a good learning lesson for me to kind of see how a, a professional would uh, would deliver his message. So thank you again for everything you've done, Joe. Yeah. For for those of you that have heard this before, and please indulge me. There's a lot of people here. And I'm, I'm sure many of you don't know, but I'm going to go back to that same one. Uh, how many of you have heard of Dr. Benjamin Rush? He was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. Well, Adam Benjamin Rush is a direct descendant of Dr. Rush. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure your, your uh, forefathers would be very proud of the way, or your ancestors would be very proud of uh, what you've done. You know, he, he was a founder of a new city. He was actually one of the uh, people that laid the groundwork for what we're living in today, just like uh, Dr. Rush did. And you've done an amazing job. And, and uh, Brandon's right, you were very professional. I remember whenever you first became mayor, and I'm sure it was very intimidating, but uh, you, you did an amazing job and your institutional knowledge is gonna be uh, sorely missed. I hope that we're able to uh, carry on and uh, get the jobs done that need to be uh, without your expertise. So we, I have a feeling we'll be resourcing you in the future. <laughs> so th thank you again for your uh, service, Adam. Todd. When we had State of the City, we were going through a thing and we were talking about, um, uh, we were gonna introduce Adam and we we're gonna say his last State of the City. And I, I was like, no, we aren't gonna say that. We aren't gonna say that this is his last State of the City. And Adam kept on, yes, we are. This is my last State of the City. And we kept on going back and forth. So unfortunately it was his last State of the City uh, meeting as a council member for right now, but he'll still be heavily involved in the community. Um, one of the things, and I don't mean to discredit Adam, but having a family of myself and seeing the toll that it takes, um, the time that it takes away, um, I just wanted to thank Kristen and her family for all that they've sacrificed and that they've given up um, to allow their dad to serve. Um, I, I think that a lot of the time that it goes unnoticed of what a spouse goes through and what the family goes through to allow their spouse to serve a, a community. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, Adam, for all that you've done. Um, the last thing real quick that I just wanted to share with the residents, a lot of time you look at a city council member and you think of what they've done in our community. And yes, Adam has done a lot. He's, he's been a tremendous asset to our community. But as you're on a council, you're assigned to different regional um, committees and things like that. And Adam has done an outstanding job, not only for our community locally, but for our community in, in the region. You go to a meeting and you say, oh, I'm with Eastville. And they're like, oh, you mean with Adam uh, or with Mr. Rush or, or things like that. So, I mean, he has done a great job for us here in the city of Eastville, but also for our region. So thank you, Adam, for your service. Thank you, Kristen and your family for allowing your, your dad and your, your husband to serve us. Awesome. 
so much has been said and all of it true and um, you're well deserving of it. Uh, your, your time in office, it, it's, well, I'm greatly, I'm grateful for it. Um, I, I've appreciated not only, well, your service, which I know you were not doing for me, you were doing it for the community that you love, uh, but um, you, your, your commitment, your sense of duty, um, your input uh, constantly when we have tough decisions before us, uh, I value, I, I have valued the input that you provide and uh, it is greatly appreciated. Uh, the discussion about um, one of our founding fathers, uh, it, uh, Dr. Benjamin Rush, uh, he, I, I was watching the um, John Adams the other night and I kept seeing him and I, I thought about texting you but it was rather late at night so I didn't. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, long and short, um, I'm gonna miss you. And I, I truly appreciate uh, serving with you as a colleague and, and, and your friendship. But uh, most importantly, though, I want to give you a little bit of time to speak. But we, we do have to be out of here by a certain time. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, sir. Yeah, never give a politician a microphone. Uh, no, I will be really brief. And you're right. A lot, is, a lot has been said. I, I appreciate it and um, value it all. This... This time has been, I think, the most rewarding, but also at times the most challenging and stressful professional thing that I've ever done uh, with respect to the sacrifices that my wife, Kristen, and, and the kids have, have made. So our oldest daughter is nine, and I've been involved with the city since 2007. So you could do the math. It's kind of all they've known. Uh, when I told my kids that I wasn't going to run for re-election, their first, not their first, their first response was yay. And then they said, well, we don't get any special parking spots. <laughs> I'm like, shh, it's a secret. So would you rather have special parking spots or would you rather dad to be home at night? And, and they took, took the latter over the former. But um, it, it's, it's been an honor. This has been the most rewarding professional uh, experience of my entire life. And I think it's just a testament to the great staff that we've had, uh, the, the great staff we have now. Uh, I think we, we're on the track. We've had the best team uh, holistically that we've ever had in the city. And our not even our first council meeting, but our first, I don't know what we call it, council, presumed council elect. There was a big controversy over what we, what we actually said was, was held where the... Uh, the nail salon, or the, also the, the eyelash place and the Mountain View Tires is now with borrowed chairs and tables. And somebody brought a PA system that was just atrocious in a room full of tile, um, getting yelled at by some of the residents and, and not knowing what the heck I was doing. So coming from there to here in this beautiful space, I think is just... The, the testimony of how far we have come. Uh, it is, I sincerely appreciate all the, the gratitude. It was not all me. Um, you know, it was, it was a, a group effort and collective and we survived. We survived the budget cuts. We survived all the, the, the crud that was thrown at us. And even though it was tough, I think we came out stronger. And I'm, I am very honored and proud to, to leave at this point. Um, with what we have accomplished, and I'm uh, even more proud to to raise my family in in this city because I know what we have and I know what our potential is. So thank you, uh, gentlemen. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you for everyone who uh, uh, showed up today. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not gonna do a mic drop or anything, but <laughs> thank you for your time. Moving on to item 4.3, or no, I'm skipping over my own thing here. Uh, <laughs> item 4.2, presentation to outgoing Mayor Clint Lorimore. Well, on behalf of 
uh, the city of Eastvale and the, and the staff here. We want to thank you for all the hard work you put in this last year as mayor. It's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, for those of you that know, don't know, some of our best conversations happen between 9.30 and 11.30 at night. <laughs> That's early. <laughs> when I'm heading home from work and so is he. So uh, um, he, he works for the Building Industry Association and, and oftentimes he's at a, a, a late night community meeting and I'm at a late night community meeting and we're talking about the agenda coming up in the next week. So uh, um, so um, on behalf of that, we give you a, a, a trophy gavel uh, uh, for you to take home and put on your, or uh, take to work and put on your That was this, this gavel, uh, wasn't uh, so, it? Um, I don't know if it was that gavel. Because but I think it changed. We, it changed colors. It, yeah. That didn't match the plaque. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> So um, I thank you very much for your for oh, your services you. last year. For for a lot of people that don't know, um, uh, Mayor Clint Lorimore has probably attended every single event possible uh, this last year, uh, um, and um, and highlighted the city in many ways, and and been to every ribbon cutting, grand opening, and, and event that there is in Eastville. And so, um, and not only does he work really hard in Eastville, but he works really hard representing us on many regional boards. If you go to SCAG, everybody, it, just like they say, do you work with Adam? They say, do you work with Clint? And so, uh, um, and um, so he, he represents Eastville and puts Eastville on the map in the region um, and that's no easy task because he's driving into downtown LA and uh, all over the place to, to help make sure he's money is coming back here and representing Eastville really well so thank you very much Clint well, thank you unfortunately we don't have to say goodbye to you because you're going to cancel it all right, right here. Ready? One, two, three. All right, right here. One, two. Oh, so sorry. Okay. One, two, three. One more. Right here. Yes. All right. Okay, briefly before moving on to item 4.3, I just want to say it's been an absolute honor and a privilege to serve as mayor for the past year. I, that being said, I am very much looking forward to handing off the role uh, to our um, mayor pro tem, Todd Rigby. Um, I want to also, well, I want to thank the community. We, we would not be what we are without you. Um, and you know, you are what makes our city great, an active and engaged community, particularly those that take time uh, midweek to come out to a council meeting like this, so thank you. Um, and, and I've said it before, but I will say it again. Uh, I, I want to thank our city staff. They, they work very, very hard, work diligently, and the, those late night conversations get emails late at night too, and uh, from, from city staff around the clock. And uh, they, they they are we have an amazing team here in town, and um, we are doing well as a community. Uh, and city staff makes us look good up here. So I really appreciate all the hard work that you guys put in, and. Um, also, uh, I want to thank uh, well, my girlfriend. I want to thank my family for putting up with a crazy schedule between work and this. It's, but uh, again, it is truly an honor and a privilege, and I would not trade it. So thank you. So moving forward, uh, item 4.3. 
and that is to accept the declaration of results of the November 6, 2018 general municipal election. And Mr. Aguilar, if you could take us through that. Sure. Good evening, Mayor Lamar and council members. On November 6, 2018, the city conducted a general election for the purpose of filling two full-term city council member seats in districts three and four. The district one election was canceled on August 21st, 2018, after the council voted to appoint Mayor Pro Tem Rigby to a four-year term as he was the only candidate to file nomination papers as of the close of the nomination period. On Friday, December 7th, the Riverside County Register of Voters certified the election. There were a total of 6,480 ballots casted in the city and a 63% voter turnout this election. Based upon the certification by the registrar, it was declared that the following individuals were elected to the city council, Clint Lorimore in District 3 and Jocelyn Yao in District 4. Staff's recommendation tonight is to adopt the resolution reciting the facts of the general municipal election and authorize the city clerk to administer the oath of office to the newly elected council members. That concludes my report. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Well, first question, have we received any public comments? We have received no public comment. Any public comments? Okay. Hearing none. Moving forward, I'm going to turn to the council. Any questions? Discussion? Mr. Rigby. Oh, <laughs> I, I would so I would so move as recommended by staff. Second. <laughs> okay, we have a first and a second. Uh, Mr. Aguilar. Councilmember Platt. Yes. Councilmember Rush. Aye. Councilmember Tesari. Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Rigby. Aye. Mayor Lormore. Aye. Motion passes five zero. Okay. All right. Done and done. Moving on to item four point four, and that is the oath of office for myself. Clint Lorimore, City Council Member, District 3, and Jocelyn Yao, City Council Member, District 4. Mr. Aguilar. Yes, Mayor Lorimore, I'd like to invite Ms. Yao up to the speaker's podium. If I could have you raise your right hand and repeat after me, um, both together, yes. I state your name. Do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California from all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely without, sorry, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations.
<laughs> Stephen, once this happens, we're remembering. Okay. Where's she going to be moving? Okay. <laughs> I would um I would like to thank voters of District 4 for electing me here to represent you here. But also, um, I see some familiar faces. I know um, some of you here had, um, was they were helping me with my campaign, and I really appreciate that. But with that being said, you know, all of, your, all of us here, and myself included, we are here to represent everyone in the city of Eastville, regardless of where you live, and that's what we're going to do. And also, Mr. Rush, I, you may not know this, but I actually got into, I got to know city of Eastville, the politics, the governance, through you, actually, through Twitter, social media. Um, <laughs> I was, I was still a college student back then, and I remember looking up hashtag Eastville, and I found you, and I, I was just looking at it, and I learned so much through you since I was in college, and so I really thank you for that, and I, I want to say that, you know, it's, anyone can be a politician, but it takes integrity to be a public servant, and you are the definition of public servant. So thank you so much. Um, and thank you to your family for the sacrifices and everything that you all have done. Thank you so much. Well said. Okay. Um, we are gonna move on to item 4.5. And that is the office of mayor and mayor pro tem. So, uh, Mr. Aguilar. Yes, good evening again, uh, Mayor Lamar and council members. Each year, the council appoints a mayor to serve as mayor and mayor pro tem. The appointments are effective immediately after the motions, and the newly appointed mayor and mayor pro tem will preside through calendar year 2019. At this time, uh, we will entertain motions for the office of mayor. Excellent. Well, I would like to make a motion that Todd Rigby serve as mayor and that Brandon Plott serve as mayor pro tem. Second. Okay. We have a first. We have a second. Any discussion? No discussion. Mr. Aguilar, roll call, please. Councilmember Yao. Oh. Aye. Councilmember Lor Mayor Lormore, I apologize. <laughs> Uh -huh. it, well, just that one. At this time, point, right? yes, Mayor Larmore. Aye. <laughs> 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 Was that a yes? <laughs> yeah, aye, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> Mayor Pro Tem Rigby? Aye. Councilmember Plot? Yes. Councilmember Desari? Yes. Motion passes 5 0. Thank you. Thank city government that we guess what you guys are going to do. It's because we have an awesome staff. We also had multiple permutations of backups back here just in case. <laughs> you must be getting ready for bowl season, how they print two shirts of each. Can I get this chair? 
All right, well, thank you. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. Um, I think as Jocelyn said it, she said it well, that uh, we're appointed in our positions to serve our community. So we're excited as a council. I think I speak on behalf of our council. Um, to serve, we're excited to serve our community and, and do what we can in representing our, our residents that are here. So moving on to item 4.6, planning commission appointments. Um... Council, would you like to um, appoint or change your planning commissions? Start down with uh, Clint, please. Excellent. Yes, uh, I plan on maintaining the uh, public safety commissioner in that he was very recently appointed. Um, I would like to make a new appointment this evening. Go right ahead. For the uh, Planning Commission. Okay, and that, that would be Houston uh, Laney. Mr. Laney, and he's here. Are we going to swear him in now? We, we, can, we can see how everybody, and then we can bring them all up and, okay. and swear in all the people at the end. Excellent. Mr. Plot. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, yeah, I would like just to retain both uh, Christian Dinko as our as uh, my public safety commissioner and uh, for our planning commissioner, Josh Lee, as well, just to retain them both. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Sorry. Yeah, I would also like to uh, reconfirm my uh, appointments, uh, Larry Oblea and uh, Sean Perillo. Thank you, Ms. Yao. Um, Clarification, so is this for planning and public safety commissions or only planning? We can announce both. We'll probably have to do a motion for separate since they're separate yeah, agenda we'll items. we'll do separate motions, but if you want to announce them both, okay. you can. So I'll um, reappoint Mr. Holvey, Andrea Holvey, as my planning as uh, my new planning commissioner. And I'll have Yvonne Varela as my public safety commissioner. Great, thank you. And I will... Uh, Reappoint mine, Planning Commissioner Daryl Charlson and Public Safety Joe Ward. So, for 4.1, or I mean 4.6 Planning Commission appointments, is there a motion? Entertain a motion? So I move. Second. Councilmember Yao? Aye. Councilmember Lorimar? Aye. Councilmember Tassari? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Plot? Yes, Mayor Rigby. Aye. Motion passes 5-0. Item 4.7, Public Safety Commission appointments. I'll entertain a motion. So I move. Second. Second. Councilmember Yell? Aye. Councilmember Lorimore? Aye. Councilmember Tassari? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Plot? Yes, Mayor Rigby. Aye. May Rigby, at this time, I'd like to invite the new commissioners up to the speaker's podium where I can administer the oath of office to both. So if you're a new commissioner, if you can come up to the front, please. Just so everybody knows, we have a public safety commission next Tuesday night and a planning commission next Wednesday night. Which means so, we'll be hearing from our office. <laughs> <laughs> Agendas will be posted tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> if I could have you raise your right hand, please, and repeat after me. I state your name. Do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California from all enemies, foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which I'm about to enter. Congratulations.
Tot. All right, congratulations to our new commissioners. Um, moving along to item 4.8, City Council Regional Appointments. Um, and we're going to move to this. Starting off with the first one, the Riverside Transit Agency. Um, I'm going to, I'll just go through kind of what we have and what I, um, uh, this is kind of up to mayor's discretion. So I'm going to appoint if there's any discussion or um, any concerns, questions, let me know. So Brandon Plot, he's actually a chair on one of the committees, so he will continue on that as a delegate. Um, I am as an alternate. W. R. Cog, Western Riverside Council of Governments. The delegate will be Joe Tassari with Brandon Plot as an alternate. Riverside County Transportation Commission will be Clint Lormore as a delegate, myself as an alternate. Southern California Association of Governments, we will remain the same, Clint Lormore as a delegate, Joe, Joe Tassari as alternate. Um, the Northwest Mosquito and Vector Control District, we only have a delegate on that. Do we need an alternate? Is there supposed to be an alternate on that? Do we not need that? Okay. We'll remain that at the same with Joe Tassari. Um, Western Community Energy, we're going to keep that the same um, as myself as the delegate. I was just appointed today as uh, the vice chair of that board. Um, and then we'll have Joe Tassari as the alternate. The Eastvale Finance Committee, we will have. Uh, Joe Tassari as the primary, Brandon Plott, and Clint Lorimore as an alternate. The Eastville Schools Committee will uh, continue to be myself as primary and Jocelyn Yao as primary. Joe Tassari as an alternate. Um, and then we also have a public safety commission on that that we were going to look into. So we'll... Yes, Mayor Rigby, I did confirm with the school district that the bylaws do not state that a public safety commissioner is necessary to sit on the board. Um, at this time, we will not appoint one. We will forego that. The Eastville Parks Commission, we will, uh, that will remain the same with uh, Brandon Plot as the primary, myself as also primary, and um, we'll make a change to that with Jocelyn Yao as an alternate. Economic Development Committee, we are actually going to uh, disband it this time. We will not move forward with, a, with an Economic Development Committee. We will dissolve that. And also the Infrastructure Implementation and Coordination Committee will also be dissolved. Um, Civic Center Library Committee, subcommittee, the two primaries on that will be Clint Lormore and Jocelyn Yale. The last one is the mayor's business success table. We are actually, I am, uh, if it's okay with the council, I'm proposing a change in uh, the name of that to just be the business success round table. 
um, and that would be the mayor as well as Brandon Plot as the primary. And just so I can just kind of, um, my thought behind changing that from the mayor's business success table to just the business success table because it's not the mayor that is the success of that. It's, I feel it's the council and the businesses. So I think if we leave it as a business success round table, that it just shows that it's, it's, a, it's a combination, it's a team effort of the success of our businesses. That is the, the regional and the subcommittees. Um, is there any discussion or any questions, concerns, comments? Um, I know I'm new and I understand that all of you here probably have more knowledge about this region and this city than I do. Um, and, but I would respectfully request to be placed on at least one of the regional committee, even as an alternate delegate. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. For the, the Riverside Transit Agency, um, let's have her as the alternate and remove myself from that. Would that be okay? Okay. Mayor Rigby, uh, for the record, was uh, Western Riverside County Regional Conservation Agency. Oh. oh. Currently, the delegate is uh, former council member Adam Rush, and the alternate serves as Clint Lorimore. I'm sorry, that was uh, my fault. I overlooked that one. That one I have as Jocelyn Yao as a delegate. And Joe Tassari is alternate. So that puts you on two regionals. <laughs> Sorry about that. I skipped that one. Sometimes it's hard to read my chicken scratch and I skip over a little bit. So I apologize. Any other further discussion on any of these? I would uh, entertain a motion for 4.8 City Council Regional Appointments. Approval. Second. Second. Mr. Aguilar. Councilmember Yao? Aye. Councilmember Lorimore? Aye. Councilmember Tassari? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Plot? Yes. Mayor Rigby? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Item 4.9 City Council Subcommittee's appointments. I would entertain a motion. So I move. Second. Councilmember Yao? Aye. Councilmember Lorimore? Aye. Councilmember Tassari? Aye. Mayor Pro Tem Plot? Yes. Mayor Rigby? Aye. Motion passes 5 0. Thank you. That concludes our special meeting. The next meeting of the Eastville City Council will be today at 6.30. Uh, we'll take a brief break and we will be back here in, let's say, 10 minutes.